Hey guys, and welcome to the 2017 fantasy postseason. Hopefully you guys have a few teams or at least one team that made it to the fantasy playoffs. It's always nice uh, to still have fantasy stats that are relevant in week 13, week 14 and onward. And if that's the case, then this video is for you. Uh, my first guy I'm going to talk about is Josh Gordon. Hugh Jackson said that they were going to play Josh Gordon a ton. It was going to be like nothing ever, like, like nothing ever happened. Uh, and that they did. Uh, he only had four receptions for 85 yards, but he was targeted 11 times. They were trying to get him the ball. That was clear. Now, he went up against a Chargers defense that they've only let up over 85 yards one time previously in the season, and that was to Odell Beckham Jr. So how could can Josh Gordon be? Well, against a super shutdown defense, he came in after three years of not playing football and did something that only Odell Beckham Jr. had been able to do against this defense so far this season. So I'm guessing he could be pretty good, and it doesn't look like he really uh, lost a step, especially if he's not playing high anymore. Now he goes up against Green Bay's defense, who have given up the seventh most receiving yards uh, per game and the fifth most fantasy points to wide receivers per game. Uh, Gordon split his time last week evenly between the right side, the left side, and the slot. So he should see some of Devon House, Demarius Randall, Kevin King, none of whom are graded higher than 62 on Pro Football Focus. Uh, Gordon, actually, in his first game back, was given a wide receiver grade of 83.2. And Pro Football Focus gives him a 62% advantage over Kevin King, uh, which is actually the highest wide receiver advantage over a cornerback this week. So fire it all up on Josh Gordon. We saw what we needed to see last week. They're trying to get him the ball. Deshaun Kaiser is competent enough to get him the ball, it looks like. Uh, and against a much easier defense, Gordon could go nuts this week, uh, the first week of the playoffs. The next guy I want to talk about, who is given a 61% advantage in his matchup, uh, only 1% less than Josh Gordon, is DeAndre Hopkins. Now, DeAndre Hopkins owners must be so excited for their first week of the playoffs, he gets the 49ers defense. And he gets to go against Dante Johnson, who grades out on Pro Football Focus at 42.6. Um, since Deshaun Watson went down, DeAndre Hopkins is the fantasy wide receiver 6, proving that Brock Osweiler is really the only person on this earth who can't get DeAndre Hopkins the ball. If you look at the list of quarterbacks he's had, he's produced with everyone except for Brock Osweiler. I could probably throw DeAndre Hopkins the football better than Brock Osweiler. So Tom Savage has not been a, a, a huge detriment to DeAndre Hopkins. He's been able to get everything done like normal DeAndre Hopkins. So there's not a lot of analysis that needs to be done here. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is one of the best wide receivers in the league, and he's going up against one of the worst secondaries in the league. And it could be a field day for him. And congratulations to all you DeAndre Hopkins owners who made the playoffs. I'm playing against one of you this week, and it really sucks. I'm really nervous about that matchup. Hopefully, the rest of my team can, uh, can step up big for me. Now, I've been talking a lot about wide receivers, but if you want to see a defensive showdown, there's Seattle at Jacksonville. Now, Jacksonville gives up 167 yards, passing yards per game, which is 28 fewer yards than the Pittsburgh Steelers give up per game, uh, and they're second in the league. So Jacksonville is not just the best in the league. They're so much better than everyone else at stopping the pass. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks, though, are very hot offensively. They have the eighth most passing yards per game. Uh, in the league, and Russell Wilson, since his week six bye, has thrown for over 220 yards and two or more touchdowns in every game. Of course, you don't throw at Jalen Ramsey and, and A.J. Bowie, uh, who have a 25% and 38% advantage, re respectively, over uh, Tyler Lockett and Paul Richardson. But what about going to the slot where Aaron Colvin, who is the weakest link, I guess you can call him, in the Jacksonville defense... Um, Doug Baldwin, who plays in the slot, is, is actually given a 17% advantage over, over Colvin. So this might be where the Seahawks try to get some things done uh, in a slot. But there's really not much you can do against the Jacksonville defense. So it'll be very interesting to see this super hot offense play against what has been the best defense we've seen in, in many years at shutting down the pass. Uh, oh, actually, we, we did see the Broncos a couple years ago who, who were kind of playing at this level. But uh, it's just it's still very, 
very weird to see that Jacksonville Jaguars have the best defense in the league and the best defense by so far. So we'll see what Russell Wilson and Doug Baldwin are able to accomplish. Uh, we'll see if Russell Wilson tries to get the ball to Paul Richardson or, or Tyler Lockett, but I would not be starting those guys. I'd be very, very careful of that. Um, but you know, Russell Wilson can get outside the pocket. He can run. He can pass to Jimmy Graham. He can pass off to one of his running backs. Um, so, so anything can happen really. Uh, it should be a very, very exciting game.